Yo, what's going on guys? It's Russ and welcome to my first ever Wonderlands build video. Now this is just a taste of what builds are going to be like in this game. This build is completely from the review build I received. So there is going to be way, way more opportunities just to improve once you get best in slot gear you get all legendaries everything like that just everything that works towards the build but i wanted to make this video to give you guys an idea of how my spellborn build the build that i theory crafted a while back or aka the first build i was going to make when i first started playing the game i want to show you guys actually how effective it is it is very very strong even where it's at right now and it's only going to get better so if you guys would like to see an updated build of this be sure to stick around and as of recording this 93 percent of people that watch my videos are not subscribed so if you guys do enjoy and find yourself keep coming back consider subscribing and dropping a like it really helps me out and our community grow by getting these videos out there for everyone to see i truly appreciate it but jumping right into this let's start going over our very first build in wonderlands this is crazy. You could do some crazy things with it. And honestly, starting off with weaponry, nothing really matters at all because I don't have any specific weapons for this build quite yet. Like I said, this is just the beginning and have a you know little taste of what builds are going to be like. Uh, our melee weapon actually is pretty cool. And obviously, if you haven't already seen a bunch of these videos, I'm going to be posting a video on all these legendaries over here. Uh, if I haven't already, they're going to be coming out in the future. But this one specifically has a perk. Basically, you can reflect 15% uh bullets that are shot at you which is really really cool uh it just kind of helps out survivability but even if you want to run something like uh this magical wand right here this free melee weapon it actually basically makes all your melee attack do spell damage now this is good since we're going to have a bunch of spell damage but you still have to be up close this is really good this is probably going to be best in slot or something like this for survivability obviously we don't know all the melee weapons in the game yet as of recording this because this is just from the review build uh but this could be way way stronger now main thing is on your rings and stuff you're looking for spell damage as you see this has spell damage spell uh crit hit damage which is good it does have sniper reload speed but that's whatever this is just another ring where critical hits are going to increase your non critical damage by two percent for short duration uh this is okay again you're just looking for your spell uh increase stats that's the most important thing for this build just try to get something with spell damage and increase it there are some legendary rings but i just don't have any yet on this build but they could actually potentially make this build be even stronger we'll get over to the amulet again you're just looking for dark magic damage uh spell shot power anything like that just uh you know grave warm power also would be pretty good you just want to increase that power so you can specifically do more damage with those i'm actually running a lightning spell where you have to hold and release it to cast i'm honestly running two of these because so far from all the spells i've gotten these are just by far the most damaging spells in the entire game uh everything else is really good actually with this but these are just phenomenal if you hold it down you can pretty much one shot everything uh one spell will kill smaller enemies if it's a bigger enemy you just do two spells and it'll for sure kill them now the interesting thing we have is actually our class mod and war because obviously these are legendary so if you actually take a look at the war this has a 75 percent chance to reflect bullets and arrows uh to nearby attackers uh when the ward's not depleted which for the most part will never be depleted this build which we'll get into when i get into the skills but this pair is really nice with the melee weapon because this is going to reflect 15 percent of bullets and this is reflected 75 percent so these two are pretty good combined together because it makes you pretty tanky on like a glass cannon type character but even with that, this character is not glass cannon, which again, I'll get to when we get to the skills. But we also have our class right here, which is a class mod specifically for graveborn and spell shot. So while standing still, gain 50% increased critical hit chance, dark magic efficiency, and lightning damage. This class mod is ridiculously strong, plus the skills it gives you two are very good. Uh, so obviously now this lightning damage spell is going to do even more damage because of this it can crit even more because of this and it's also going to be doing dark magic damage with some of our skills so again the dark magic efficiency is going to be even better as well now i'm actually going to unequip this really quick i will equip it again once we get back over so i can show you the skill point increases but getting into these skills for my active skill i'm for sure taking ambihextrous this is going to allow you to cast two spells so this is the way it's going to allow you to you know have your normal spell and then you also have you know two spells so that's just your action skill it's really really good i know it's not as flashy as something like polymorph but i'm telling you with the spell shot it's ridiculous it's very very strong especially with certain spells now for our first go we're going to be taking magic bullet so this is basically going to make how much ever spell damage i have 45 percent of that is actually going to be transferred to our gun this is going to let your guns be very very good in downtime where you don't have a spell which is very rarely especially with this build because the spell you use has four charges 
and it's going to cool down back instantly quick. You can pretty much just use spells the entire time. But if you ever need to use a weapon, this is going to be really good to buff that damage up. Now, I'm also running a spell sniper. This is going to give you a 60% chance for your spells to crit with five points in it. On top of things like our class mod or armor that we have, you pretty much crit every single time with this. It's very, very good. Now, I have five points in font of mana. So this is going to give you 20% spell cooldown rate, which is very, very nice. The actual cooldown rate doesn't matter because we're running two spells. You get your spells back faster. Now I have one point in mage armors. So whenever I gain a stack of spell weaving, which is from reloading or casting a spell, which, and also if you don't know spell weaving is their character feat that gives you 10% increased spell damage and it can stack up to 10 times and their max stacks is five. So again, if you reload or cast a spell, you get a stack. It's 10% per stack and the durations form are 10 seconds. So you can get 50% spell damage increase just by casting spells and reloading. But now also on top of that, you're gonna restore 10% of your ward, which plays really, really well with our other ward where you reflect the bullets if your ward is full now also glass cannon right here is very good because this is going to give you 30 percent spell increase damage but your ward can never regenerate so you really have to make your ward regenerate by just cast spells all the time with mage armor it's very very good with this build setup especially with some of our other graveborn skills but our last skill for our spell shot is going to be high threat count so max spell weaving sacks increase by plus three so now instead of five you have eight so 80 percent more spell damage very very good now getting into the graveborn skills is where it actually gets really interesting is essence strain so kill skill spell corner rates increased uh for a short duration this is 25 percent for 12 seconds but this is really just 25 percent the entire time because of getting a kill is very easy and plus with some other skills trust me you're gonna have 100 up time this 24 7 so just a constant 25 percent spell corner rate which is really good now i also have four points of mortal vessel i just had some left over this is giving you more maximum health and dark magic efficiency this just helps the survivability of this build which is going to be insane now we also have three points of singling sacrament so whenever the fame maker casts a spell she regenerates health so now you get 15 percent per second for two seconds that's a crazy amount of health generation just by casting a spell again so now when you cast a spell you're getting health and some of your ward is getting increased very very good now dark packs we have increased dark magic damage just a solid 20 percent increase your dark magic damage which is going to pair really really well with stain of the soul so this is going to make all your spells do bonus dark magic damage so now every time you cast a spell you're doing 20 percent bonus dark magic damage which is also obviously getting buff with dark pack and again obviously with our armor or class mod it's buffing the dark magic efficiency even more so you're gonna get a bunch of health generation very very strong it's very very good the combination is just crazy now we have one point in direct covenant so a portion of our damage which is 35 percent is actually going to be going to our companion the companion actually is going to play a role in this it's going to really help the survivability and on top of that whenever you reach one health your companion's actually going to die for you and you're going to restore 75 percent health this build is insanely tanky on top of just doing everything with spells like you would think if you're playing a spell build you have to specifically be a glass cannon since you know this skill's literally called glass cannon but it's not trust me pair with the great born you were literally one of the most tankiest magic casters ever in existence it feels like you just cannot die it's honestly insane and then on top of that to help with that play style you have ascension so now every time you get a kill you're getting more maximum health and you're getting more spell damage this is six percent per stack uh, so for both ma maximum health and spell damage so now when you get a kill you're getting a spell damage increase obviously when you cast a spell you're getting a spell damage increase and typically obviously that spell is going to kill an enemy so both of those combined together you're just getting a ton of spell damage for casting spells and even more survivability and now i'm taking one point in lord of edges so this basically makes you have a damage reduction and increased damage dealt the lower your health gets so this is just a passive damage reduction skill the lower your health gets obviously the more tanky you're going to be if ever gets super low your campaign is going to die for you you're getting even more damage to get kills to get more health back start regeneration more maximum health everything like that it's insanely strong now finally we have Morhaim's blessing so casting a spell automatically activates all of the fate makers kill skills so if you remember like i said constant uptime on things like your cooldown rate every time you get a kill you get the cooldown rate now just casting a spell is giving you cooldown rate it's giving you spell damage right here it's giving you health degeneration it's giving you more maximum health and spell damage and remember since you're casting a spell 
you're getting the kill skill active, which is giving you the damage. You're getting your spell weaving, that's giving you the damage. And if that spell kills an enemy, it's giving you another kill skill for this because it stacks to 10 times and it's 6% per stack. So if just casting one spell and killing a smaller enemy, you have like three different times of increased spell damage. It's insane. It's so, so fun. It's it's insanely strong and I, I love it so, so much. Now, I hero stats, I actually am focusing on constitution to get more maximum HP and ward. Again, you want to be really tanky with this build. Then also have intelligence to get even more spell cooldown rate. That's the two main things I would focus on if you want to run the specific build. Obviously, if you want to go more in crit chance, you can. So this is pretty much what I've been running the review the entire time. Once the full game launches, this is what I'm going to make first. I promise I'm going to make this as strong as it can get. It's already insanely strong. And if we actually come over here again and equip our class mod, obviously you have the class mod or armor effect. But if we go back to the skills now that we all are aware of what the skills do, you have things like Warcaster, which is going to give you a 24% chance to reload your weapon when you cast a spell. That's adding even more to casting a spell to do this. Very, very strong. It's not the best compared to some other skills, but the other thing is Essence Drain, so you get even more quarter rates, so 30% quarter rate instead of 25%. And then you have Ascension. So now you're getting 10% maximum health and spell damage per stack, which stacks to 10 times. So that's 100% more maximum health and 100% more spell damage on top of your spell weaving stacks simply just by pressing your spell button. It is ridiculously strong. I highly recommend trying this out if you do want to play a spell build. Like I said in the beginning, this is just the beginning of this build. And I'm very, very excited to see some crazy combinations and what you can come up with once we have a better understanding of all legendary gear and how everything is synergized. But anyway, that's going to be all for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys would like to see any specific gameplay on this, be sure to check out some of my other videos. Pretty much every video, I'm running this exact build in there and you can see its true potential. Trust me, this is going to be one of the best builds in the game and I cannot wait to have every specific legendary and stat that I need to increase it even more. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.